Tonight, an international money laundering scheme built on love, lies, and stolen photographs. Federal investigators tell us the money was sent by people across the country to a Central Florida man who had no idea he was being used in a multi-million dollar scheme. New 6 investigator Mike Holfeld has the exclusive story. It's an unlikely setting for an international money laundering scheme playing out over the last six years. But it really happened. The money would come in different forms. It would come in either straight up cash, it would come in money orders, it would come in checks, it would come in wires. There you have over $100,000 in cash. Senior Special Agent Roger Fuentes of the Orlando Secret Service tells News 6 a tip from Apopka police led to a bounty of cash and Bitcoin deposits. Here's the Bitcoin receipt here. Funneled to the address of a young custodian. How much money are we talking about all these years? Way over $3.1 million. Investigators found smartphones, gift cards, money orders from Houston, Texas, and other states. Oh, and something else. Unemployment benefit debit cards. 41 unemployment debit card accounts from Arizona and California, obtained by identity thieves and cashed out every month to the tune of more than $61,000. And you're sure it ended up in Nigeria? According to our records, yes. We have the direct wires to a police barracks in Nigeria. A paper trail developed by the Secret Service points to a police barracks nearly 6,000 miles away. He didn't know it was illegal. Had no idea. It was all about love. It was all about love. The alleged point man, a guy in love with a woman he met on social media. You said my wife, were you thinking you were married? Mm-hmm. We was gonna get married. It's the first time he's going public. He's asked we not identify him. He says the love of his life had recruited him to route funds to a needy church. Didn't you suspect something? Why would it be going to a police barracks there instead of a church? I trusted this person to the point to where I believed in him. In an exclusive interview with News 6, he admits the photographs and romantic texts. I miss you more, sweetheart. From a woman he never met. Don't forget to withdraw. Clouded his judgment. I thought that, you know, okay, well, she wouldn't lie to me. And then there was all that money. It was money orders, Amscot checks, bank checks. He says he opened 10 bank accounts over the last six years to deposit funds sent to his home by perfect strangers. They was coming from California, New York, Missouri, New Jersey. The Secret Service says his Apopka address was the final stop in a pipeline of funds obtained from victims of everything from romance scams to vacation rental schemes. Who are these people? other victims out there that we're still trying to identify. At this point, we really don't know how many men and women here in Florida and across the country are victims of this scheme and similar schemes. But we do know the potential financial scope of all of this could be in the billions. In Apopka, Mike Hofeld, News 6.